Dean, I cannot believe you haven't got your sunglasses on. It's properly hot. It is out. really, really hot. And obviously, with the weather like this, it only happens a few occasions of the year. It's time to dust off the barbecue. Yes. Um, but what I'm actually I doing for you today... Barbies. Oh, do you know what? Everyone loves a barbecue. And whether you're cooking on gas or you're cooking over coals, it doesn't really matter. You know, gas is quite convenient. You know, it if you've got a little bit more time on your hands, I think the charcoal kind of adds that little element of flavour. But what I'm actually doing for you today is a really quite substantial dish. Um, when most people think about salads, they think, you know, it's a little bit of limp lettuce, <laughs> <laughs> dried up cucumber, whatever it might be. But this is really, really substantial. So I'm cooking honey glazed chicken, which I'm doing on the barbecue. And we're going to kind of dress it up, jazz it up with some amazing new potatoes, green beans, and kind of a lovely Spanishy dressing, which is going to bring everything together. Oh, wonderful. Um, but what we're actually going to do, our dressing is kind of going to be a marinade and a dressing for the salad. So it's kind of two in one, okay. but dead simple. So what I've got here, just a little bowl. I've got some smoked paprika, which again will <gasps> Love kind of... the smell. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. And it kind of accentuates that barbecue-y kind of flavour as well. So even if you want to do this in the oven or under the grill, it's perfect for that. Um, so about half a teaspoon of that. Clove of garlic, which has just been crushed up. A tiny squeeze of honey. You don't want too much because Obviously, when it's going on the barbecue, you don't want it to over caramelize and burn. Oh, right, OK. OK, but just so a tiny squeeze of honey. And then for a little bit of acidity, we've got some balsamic vinegar. It's not even balsamic, it's sherry vinegar. That's all right. <laughs> it's vinegar. It's vinegar. vinegar. It adds that acidity. And you want around 50 ml of olive oil. So just get that in there, along with a little pinch of salt and pepper. And then just give that a little bit of a whisk together. You know, look at the colours in that bowl. Let me have a sniff as well. Oh, you see, already you can Perfect. smell that paprika. And exactly. Lovely. So, half of that goes Very into our best. chicken. And I've just got these in, in these ah. little freezer bags, which these are amazing. So you can get your marinade in, give them a little bit of a scrunch together, chuck them in the fridge, and give those at least kind of 20 minutes, half an hour if you can, or even longer is going to add to the flavour. I never thought of putting it in a bag. So what you can do at this point is get your chicken goujons, which I love these, OK? Over a nice, real preheated barbecue. Get those on. And do you know what? They're going to take no longer than two to three minutes each side really? to cook through. Literally, that's, that's all it is. And the little chicken goujons, they're the bit that the supermarkets are crafty with, and they kind of steal them off the bottom of the chicken breast, and they're dead cheap. That's really, good really tip. cheap. And they're great for salads and everything like that. So let's bring everything together. So in this bowl here, new potatoes, banging season, Cook them for 12 to 15 minutes, just so they're nice and tender, and I just crush them down with a fork, literally, like that, and they take on more dressing that way. Okay, okay. there's more surface area Lovely. for that dressing to kind of kick through. We've got some green beans. Now, these have just been blanched, literally, for two to three minutes. Oh, so they are cooked, but only... They are cooked, right, so oh, what you do... snap. Boiling salted water. Get them in, literally two minutes, take them out. You can refresh them in a bit of ice water, and they retain their colour then and that little snap, you know? Don't okay. overcook your veg. My okay. nan literally cooks cabbage for about seven hours. Oh, no, you, does it you go know? grey? And it's grey. You know, whenever the water is a different colour, so if you've got no. green water, that's the flavour and nutrients, everything coming out. So <laughs> they go in. Do not overcook your veg. That's, okay. that's the key message here. So get those in. We've also got these beautiful little baby gem lettuce, and I love these. So just kind of cut the bottom off, break them open. Then what we're going to do is pour the rest of our dressing See, I'd in have there. It, that already is I know. Got nicer. But that's what I mean, you know, people kind of think of salads as being something that's not exciting. But this has got everything, every kind of flavour profile and element just really works. So, that's ready to go. Now check out my goujons here. What I've got here, just these other ones on the barbecue. Let's get them over and we've got that lovely char caramelisation which is helped along with the honey. Oh, okay, let's just have a look at some of these. They're not quite ready yet. Now, a great tip when you are cooking on barbecues, don't be tempted to turn things earlier than you need to. See, okay? that's where I think I go wrong with my halloumi. Exactly. My halloumi sticks. Well, that'll be it. Just leave it on there. It will turn when it's ready to turn. Oh. Simple as that. OK. OK, so I'm going to go on with some of this salad, Gabby. You can see the colours are absolutely amazing already. We've got a couple of boiled eggs on there. These amazing sun blush tomatoes just over the oh, top. Oh, that looks like summer on a plate. Exactly. And just to finish off, some salty olives. I've got some chicken. It's always important, even if you're doing it on a barbecue, to rest your chicken. See, there's always that fear about making sure your chicken's cooked, isn't there? But yeah. you're quite. Oh. This, this, this chicken 
is going to be cooked through. Oh. Really juicy, delicate. I cannot wait to try this. And the flavours absolutely scream of summer. Oh, that is delicious. Is good? Oh, really, really delicious. That's all mine. Nobody's <laughs> having any of that. I'm sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. It's really embarrassing. 